Hi guys, Liz and Annie back again with another installment of things you can do in Zoom. So today I'm joined obviously by Annie, also my colleague Kate, my colleague Kalina, and my colleague Rachel, who's decided she's not on video right now, but she is audio participating in the Zoom call. So uh, the first thing that we want to show you or the thing that we're focusing on in this video is a nifty little tool that lets you temporarily unmute yourself. So you can like make a comment quickly without having to click around and like click, find a little audio icon or move your mouse or like uh, re-engage with the meeting if you were trying to multitask and do something else. Um, uh, so it should save you some time and make it a lot easier to kind of like participate, but stay muted all the rest of the time so that you're not creating background noise or distractions, uh, especially in a bigger Zoom meeting. So the first thing you wanna do is go, uh, I'm on a Mac, so I go up to the top left corner, click on zoom.us, then I click on preferences. It's gonna take me to my audio preferences here. And I wanna make sure this down here is checked, so enabled. Press and hold space key to temporarily unmute yourself. So I already have that set on mine, and I think everyone else in the room already has that set on theirs too. So now as the host of the meeting, what I'm gonna do is come over here, and you can see all my participants who are in my room right now. I'm gonna mute everybody. Yes, I want everyone to be muted. And now when people want to like uh, test this spacebar feature out, they can uh, hit it. You have to hold it down while you're talking, hit it, say whatever they want, and then let go of it and they're muted again. So we can we can watch that process happen up here. I see Annie has her hand up. Uh, let me unmute her and ask why. Yes, Annie. I was gonna do the space bar thing. Oh, Annie would like to go first. I'm gonna <laughs> lower your hand and then mute, mute you. <laughs> Thank you. That's very civilized, raising your hand to do it. Great idea. Uh, I'm lowering your hands. You can raise it again when you're ready and you're muted, so. Go ahead, Annie. Hello, I have a question. Oh yes, yeah. so what's your question? How do I find all these awesome YouTube tutorials oh my later? Gosh. I'm so glad someone asked me that question because Annie and I are just endlessly generating content and we need you all to like, what is it? Like, comment, subscribe. We only have one person commenting right now and it's the same guy on all our videos. So we need our colleagues to go comment on these videos and subscribe and watch them. So you, uh, we have the links here for you just in case you don't remember where we gave these to you before. Annie and I both have, each have, a YouTube channel. So you can click on these two down here. I don't know whose is whose from this uh, URL. Uh, we will also like make sure these are available to the whole department so people can just click on them directly. Uh, I won't click on it now because it'll just take me to my browser. Um, but Annie has a channel and Liz has a channel. So make sure that once you find both those, you subscribe. Um, because anytime we update with new content, it's going to go there. Kalina has raised her hand physically and has a question. Yes, Kalina. When you say find it, what do you mean? Like, where do I find it? Find the link to the YouTube channel. Yeah. We will, uh, I think we should, it currently exists right here, but that's not helpful for anybody because they can't click that when they see this video. And that's uh, very meta. It's very hard to find a video that you can't link to or click on the link to find the channel that has the video on. It's also in that doc that we shared, that Google doc, that living, breathing document of all the stuff that we recommend and then all the videos that we're creating. In a comment in the margin, Annie has linked to each of these YouTube channels. So they're both in there. But I think what we'll probably do uh, to make sure people can make use of the video resource uh, bank that we're putting together is ask if we can send an email to the department, so to the faculty and students, so that people are getting that right away. And then there's also a Facebook page for people in our department that we can share it to, to be uh, more direct about it. So people technically have access to these uh, channel links, but it's been tricky to find. Uh, similar question I know people have had about how to link or how to get in my Zoom room, how to get in Annie's Zoom room. So we'll maybe include that in the email. So like the most basic stuff that uh, is gonna be prohibitive to people being able to get really sophisticated with Zoom if they don't know how to do X, Y, Z. Excellent question, Kalina. An excellent use of the uh, temporary unmuting yourself with the space bar. Anyone else? I just feel like this is like a walkie-talkie. A, wa a walkie-talkie? Oh, cause, you're, cause you have to yes. like do the, mm-hmm. Not really a question, but I appreciate the comment. Thank you, Rachel. Okay. Yes. 
Uh, uh, Kate, I don't need to call on you, but do you have any questions or concerns? Anything you'd like to unmute yourself to say? No, but thank you for having me in your room. <laughs> this is more of a comment than a question. Okay, I have two questions and they're actually both comments. Just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna mute myself so that people on my video can see what it looks like when I do the space bar thing on the screen. So now I'm muted. And if I wanna unmute, Wait, this is too meta. I can unmute myself and you can see I can't do the mouse and the space bar. Uh oh, yep. I'm temporarily unmuted while I'm holding it down. Okay. And then unmuting because I'm the host. Unmute everybody because you're all welcome to come back. Okay, so that's how uh, you can save a little bit of time so you don't have to like scroll all the way down here to mute or unmute yourself when you come into the room or back into the room from a breakout room. Or scroll over here and find your microphone and you don't have to do any scrolling and clicking. You just hold the space bar down once you have this enabled. It will save everybody time. Okay, good luck with that.